Welcome YouTube friends and family to today's thrifting adventure of the Wellness Homesteader. So it's been a while since I've been out thrifting, antiquing, but it is so everlasting hot here <laughs> and very humid today in Ohio. So I thought I would bring you along and just share some of my finds today. I've been kind of saving up a little bit of money and one of my sweet, sweet subscribers sent me some mad money. I so appreciate that and you know who you are. So let's go in and see what great stuff we can find. Stay tuned. There are always so many fabulous things out on the porch, you know, like giant statues. But guys, look at this cute little playhouse. It says it's 1940s. It's $298, even has a little flag coal on it. Like Frankie would love this. <laughs> it's got little windows in it. It's super cute. And I also wanna show you, y'all, have you ever seen the hostas this big? Look at the leaves, just to give you an idea. And I think the blooms were lavender. Um, Hosta is generally a shade plant, and this is getting, of course, full sun. It is a stunner of a day. It's just extremely hot. So, yeah, all kind of, they still have the eagles. <laughs> the eagles haven't landed in somebody's house yet. Ha <laughs> ha. So, and I love this sign. We think our staff is amazing. Please don't kill their spirits with negative or unkind words. So I thought that was very nice too. So let's go in and see what we can dig up. So I just wanted to share with you this <clears throat> granite colander. You can see the holes in it. So I have one very similar, but it's like a darker blue that I got at Goodwill um, for like a buck. And this one's $66.75. So yeah, glad I found it. And while thrift stores are great places to find bargains, sometimes they just don't have a lot of the older stuff so if you're truly in the mood all well, the chicken girls would like this tin hang hen well i think that's supposed to say cranks made in the usa now it does wind up i wonder if it uh box box <laughs> but uh we're gonna pass on that cute but this is a lot of uh, tin type toys. Um, here's the one you can buy that has the lid stuck. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah, you can find a little bit of everything. This actually reminds me of a metal play kitchen that we had at my grandparents' house in Eastern Kentucky. And this is like a little grocery store. And you can tell by the color and just the way it's made. It's quite old and it's made in, boy, these people have terrible handwriting. I think it's supposed to be Wolverine is the manufacturer for Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 49.75. So trust me, there is tons more. So let's, this is always a fun booth, cute cake saver. 18. Look at these unique canisters. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be. Definitely 70s. Um, if you remember from a previous video, I forgot to look at the Mary Margaret McBride Encyclopedia of Cooking. And like I said, it's not in the best of shape. Oop. I'm a little bigger than I thought it was for this little spot. Yeah, $40, y'all. But it is resplendent with every recipe you could possibly want. Um, you know, I think I'll price that on eBay rather than to buy one that's not in the best of shape. And I think even with shipping, we'll probably get it cheaper. And it is, sorry guys, copyright. 59. Yeah, I mean, it just has that 50s look. So let me do a little scoping out on eBay and Etsy and see if I can find it. Well, y'all, look at this painting. Is that not gorgeous with the oranges? It's got some blue and some green. $76. 
and it says mid-century city buildings. I just think that's so, so pretty. But if you look at it, I don't know if, you, yeah, you can see from there, it's, it's bowed. So we're gonna pass on that. This is sort of, sort of a mid-century booth. And what I can tell you is, whoops, I'm packing around this. This is called Blue Moon by Anarcho. I absolutely love it. It's like a candy dish or a cookie jar. And I believe, oh, don't break it. It's 14. Um, Y'all still haven't seen because I still haven't painted, but I'll give you a preview. This is my color scheme for my great room and kitchen. So on the cookbook, uh, I can get one in much better condition, including shipping for around $30. So I'm going to pass on the one that I saw, but it does look like loss of front cover is a very common problem. Stay tuned. We're going to keep on going. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with these Capiz, capiz shell lamps. <laughs> They're just so unique and different. Look at these foofy ones over here. You could have a whole pair. These are only $400. <laughs> that looks like um, a cat toy for Frankie that wouldn't last very long. So, onward and upward. So this booth has a lot of true vintage I have to show you this dress. Oops, now I've lost it. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know, guys. Does this give you Brady Bunch, Florence Henderson vibes? I swear she had a dress like this. Pardon me. It's a size 14. Permanent press. Nah, I wouldn't wear that. Oh, looks like it's got a substitute button, too. But how cool is that? They do have a lot of... Where did it go? Like shift dresses, you know, just cotton. Look at this fabulous, probably 60s blouse. Well, okay, it says it's a dress, so I would assume it's 60s because, <laughs> ooh, sorry guys with the hand. It says pink flower shirt dress. It's made by Fritzy of California. Um, yeah, that wouldn't cover my hind end. Are you allowed to say hind end on YouTube? I don't know. But lots of really cute, cute vintage things. Like, this is super cute. Just a little house dress. However, it's got a lot of staining on it, too. But, you know, a lot older dresses do. This is probably 70s. $25. If you pay cash, you get 10%. Uh, so that would be $250 off. And I'm like, two changeable outsides. What does that mean? This side's blank. Well, y'all, look. It just buttons on here. So you've got your candle wick. I think that is so cute. And then look at this one. Oops, sorry, y'all. Kind of hard sometimes to film. This is like a ultra suede oh, it might be 80s but I would I would say 70s I just thought that was really uniquely different three purses in one although that one's my favorite so here's a really unique sculpture it is an Italian mid-century modern brass swan magazine rack rare high impact in a space 378 but isn't it cute very cute my friends over at Crazy for Retro, Peggy and Norm, would probably like that. They love birds, they have a pond in their backyard, and they have lots of ducks, and even baby ducks. Oh boy, we got the fancy schmancy lambs too. <laughs> a pair if you need them. This is always one of my favorite booths to come into, lots of mid-century. Look at this fantastic table for two, drop leaf table. The chairs have sparklies on them. It's in amazingly good shape, but 275. But really unique and would be 
really nice if I had a place for it. <laughs> but I can enjoy looking. Lots and lots of chrome percolators, um, canisters. These are kind of nifty too. Um, flour, sugar, and cookies. That seems to be like the essentials, right? So yeah, some really, really, really neat items in here. Very nice. It could be a plant. Oh lordy. Plant stand or a side table. 50. And that's definitely mid-century. Look at the little doodaddy on it. So yeah, lots of fun stuff to look at. Some pretty cool mod lamps. I like the way those are made on the underneath. So I just plain enjoy looking. I don't have to buy to have a good time. All right, guys. I just wanted to share this with you all. I'm seeing signs like this everywhere. Full-time, part-time, 40 hours, whatever you need. Um, and this is actually for a uh, Wendy's. Here, that is attached to a Love's. You can see their gas station. So yeah, um, it just seems like help is hard to find nowadays. And there was a sign before this one that, you know, said we'll work around your kid's school schedule, etc. So yeah, help one. And I know this is not old, but it reminds me of my blonde haired, brown eyed son. But look, it's a rodeo girl. <laughs> $35, but um, just kind of reminded me of my son. That's pretty cool too, the barn with the Burma shade, but that's a little more on the countryside I'm going for. Mid-century modern, but they do have some pretty art in here for sure. And I'm sorry guys about the background music. They're not gonna turn it off for me. <laughs> so I'm actually at the second antique place and uh, I have one to go if my back holds out. If not, I found some really good treasures. Ooh, this is one of my favorite booths to go through. They just have like cool stuff. So let's go in, let's go into the booth. Okay, y'all, I just have to share this. So if you need a lampshade, just take a case of beer and yeah, put some tape on it and you've got yourself a lampshade. That is too, too funny. Welcome back. It's actually the next day. I got a little sidetracked when I got home with some things I needed to do and it got late on me. So I wanna bring you back to show you all the cool finds I found. So probably my, one of my favorites, they're all my favorites, right? Is this Anarcho Blue Moon cookie jar. It is like, in mint condition, it's very, very dirty. It's been there for a long time. I love the blue-green combination. And like I said, once I get all the painting done and I'm willing to show you all, you know, this is kind of my color scheme that I'm going with. But I just think these are fascinating. They made pictures, um, like water pictures, dishes. I mean, there's just like candle holders, you name it made out of the blue moon. I don't need all the pieces, but I certainly like this. And it was a steal for $14. Now I'm not gonna be able to tell you prices of everything because I kind of forget. Second thing I found, which was also very economical, is this, let me, and none of this has been washed yet. This is an Ohio art, very good condition, recipe file box. And let's see, Brian, Ohio. These hold three by five cards. I have, after cleaning out my mom's and dad's estate, a lot of original family recipes written on three by five cards. Now I have a place to house them. My bigger recipe box is not only jammed, <laughs> but the little ones don't fit in there. And so they get hidden, slide underneath the dividers, you know, all the things. All right. This I thought was super fun. These are vintage, I'm gonna say vintage style. 
because they've never been used. Um, some people call them bar towels. Um, you know, they're just, they're pretty good size. Long, 100% cotton towels. And either the person that did these got tired about midweek. So Sunday was rest. Monday is wash. Aren't those just adorable? Perfect blue color. Tuesday is iron. Do y'all still iron? I still iron. And then, let's see. Wednesday is mend. Are these so cute? I thought they were so cute. So these needs, everything, like I said, needs to be cleaned and washed. But four towels for $4. Y'all, you can't buy one new dish towel. And as you know, I do use my vintage finds. Um, some of them for looking, but a lot of them for using. Now, I need your help on this one. In fact, let me grab some things so I can show you why I bought what I bought. So, I did have two of these. Obviously, a very 50s color in that, like, it's actually a sky blue, but it's kind of lending towards the teal. And it has the cream insides. No maker's mark on the bottom. Look what I found. Now, this is a little more teal than this one. I have looked and looked and looked. I've used Google Lens. Um, no markings whatsoever. But I just thought it was adorable. And it matches my one cup. <laughs> I had to. I broke. I picked it up and broke the handle. So these are quite old, have some crazing on them. This is just, you know, something I don't think that's ever been used, but I thought it was super cute. So if you know anything about this, especially you, sis, drop me a comment below and let me know. Google Lens only had one on Etsy for $22. I did not pay that much. And it just said, sky blue teapot. <laughs> no help whatsoever. Now, this was a really fun find. So, in the 50s, 60s, and even into the 70s, there were a lot of chip and dip holders. Um, usually, the chip was like a bowl. It had a metal piece that held the dip. Well, a lot of those, the metal's very rusty. And also, from taking that metal attacher on and off, um, there's mar marks on the bowl, uh, and it's just not strictly real practical, but guys, look what I found. Yes, you, this is all one piece. You don't have to take it apart. Absolutely zero maker's mark, uh, but I just thought it was absolutely lovely. So this will be great. You know, I know people are doing charcuterie boards, but like at the holidays for veggies and dip, um, you could just, put your pickles up here and your raw veg down here. <laughs> you know, there's just all sorts of uses. I like that it's one piece. I like that it's blue and green. Plus I love to the price. And again, guys, I can't remember how much it was. I apologize. I'm so bad. Probably my biggest score, kind of giving it away here, is this gorgeous, gorgeous bird. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is. Maybe a road runner? It's a big tailed bird <laughs> and I have a plan for this, but if you can see, it's sort of that iridescent cream color. These are really hard to come by in Ohio. My dear friends, Peggy and Norma over at Crazy for Retro, they also love birds and living near the Twin Cities in Minnesota, there's a lot of lakes there. So they have so many gorgeous birds but I'm really happy with my one. So while this wasn't a thrifty haul, I hope that you've enjoyed it. You know, sometimes when the weight of everything that's going on kind of falls on your shoulders, I'm talking about in the world in general, all the bad news, bad weather, <laughs> Sometimes you have to do a little something for yourself. Now, while I spent a little money, I didn't spend a tremendous amount of money. It doesn't always have to involve spending money. But I needed to get away from the homestead for a little bit and just have a fun day. And I certainly did that. 
So drop me a comment below. What is your favorite go-to, I'll say secondhand store. Is it a thrift store? Is it like a chain like Goodwill, Salvation Army? Or is it an antique mall? Or what is your favorite type of place? And if you wanna share the name of the place to shop, I'd love to know, because I might have to take a road trip. <laughs> All right. I will see you all again next week. Have some fun things coming up as always. Again, welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you to my returning subscribers. And until I see you again, be well, be healthy, be blessed. Take care.